Hi, I'm Dennis with Dragon Group China in New York. Hi, it's Ian from Dragon Group Manchester. And we're here to show some features of the brand new Bird 8888. The Bird machine comes with four interchangeable heads. And you've got this one which is fitting the arms as the fast hair. And these easy to just disconnect. From square. And then square away you can swap for you've got the tubes, infrared. Standard infrared heater, which is the one most commonly used. And then you've got a larger L Stein SHTS Wonder, which is quite a powerful heater, good for PlayStation 3s and large chips. And then just go over and just go over. All parts easy, easily interchangeable. Essentially, what the system does is to eliminate the, the need to pick a certain type of machine. Four different options available for the uh, heating source that you'd like to use. You know, a choice between hot air, uh, tube array, and infrared. First time available ever on the market where all four different types of heaters can be used. Yeah, it's got a nice universal jig as well, which is just, you know, you can just start anywhere you want. Support clips. I'm fitting with the Amiga T-Series, and it's on the T-Series, and then you've got the vacuum pump for removing the chips, which you'll see being worked on in the videos. Okay, we'll, we'll get into dis explaining the, uh, the programmable display for your slopes uh, in another video. But essentially, this is the Hoover 888. We're going to be doing a chip lift here with the uh, infrared tubes. This is an Xbox 360 GPU we'll be taking off. Yeah, with the Bird 8888 you get different you know, attachments. You've got the standard infrared that just clips on and plugs in the connector. And you've got a large Elstein SHTS 100. It's very powerful, good for PS3s, lifting big chips. And then the one we used before, we've got the hot air attachment. That's magnetic. Same thing, just clips in. What would you say the benefits are with the tube array? Mainly the heating fast and cooling down quicker? The tubes, are one, using the tubes over the standard infrared ones, what I found with the tubes is they can respond a lot quicker, they can get hot. And then if they need to cool down fast, they cool down very quick. They don't hold the heat like the usual ceramics yeah. do. And they're not as harsh as well, I found. This is also the same heater that comes in the TX999, the machine that was designed just for Xbox. It comes with a built-in sucker pen. We're using a custom profile that Ian programmed. Uh, what's the guesstimate on how long this is going to take? Yeah, it shouldn't take too long now because the, the bottom heat has got going quite fast. There's like there's 4,000 watts Elstein heat on the bottom, which can um, really get you know get going really mm -hmm. quick. Which gets the glass hot, and then it just stays at a steady temperature. Okay. And you you can see that with the green line as it's got it goes up, and then it'll just sort of flatten out, which is towards the end of the profile. Okay. So it's on the soak stage now. It's on a preheat. It's gone up to stage three, mm -hmm. which will take it to 170, where it'll, you can see the red line just sort of goes flat. Mm -hmm. It's like the silk stage. So we're almost there. Obviously, some of these profiles will take a little bit of fine tuning by myself. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just uh, basic profiles that I put into the machine. The beauty of this machine is though totally adjustable and customizable. Yeah, I mean, that, that, this profile I've said, and I think I probably left the, the soak stage for a little bit too long, mm -hmm. but I mean, next time I know to, you know, maybe yeah. knock five, ten seconds off that, and then you can see your results by looking at the curves on the graph. Mm -hmm. So you know if you're getting a, you're getting it right. Loose, so it's about ready to come on. Yeah. 
And there's the chip lift using the infrared tubes.